it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So we are back to cleaning up for spring. So if you caught the first spring clean out video, we did a lot of work. We cleaned out all of the perennials that needed kind of cleaned up, cut back with the exception of our butterfly bushes because those need to put on a little bit of growth first. We took out any annuals that are definitely not coming back in our zone 8B, sometimes our annuals can be more of tender perennials. Things like our Angelonias and our Supertinia Vista bubblegums usually come back for me here. Um, but we had a really hard freeze around Christmas. And I don't think those things are going to come back in every spot. You can see all the green in my window boxes. Those are all Supertinia Vista bubblegums all coming back. Tons of green. But a lot of the ones in the ground seem dead, dead, dead. So, you know, they had a little more protection in the boxes, thinking that made a difference. Either way, this is going to be another maintenance video. So I have cleaned out everything from this first set of three window boxes over to the shed. I've gone through the lamb's ear. I've taken down perennials. I've taken out annuals, everything but straight up blown the leaves out so that I can replace the leaf mulch from last fall with fresh mulch and compost for spring. So we are going to keep going down the way here, cleaning out our lambs ear, taking out annuals, clipping things back that need clipped back. And then we're going to see, goodness gracious, that's like four hops. literally right over me. I don't think they're in the frame. I have little dogs. They're not little enough for a hawk to pick up, but it still always makes me nervous. Biddy, where are you? Biddy. Come here. Come stay over here. The rest of the girls are in the backyard. Come on. Good job. No dates with the hawks today, baby. Good job. So we're going to use the leaf blower. We're going to clean out the lamb's ear. I am trying to get the beds ready to replace all of our soaker hoses with drip irrigation. Last year, you might remember mom and I put drip irrigation to all of my front porch pots and planters and the window boxes. Um, and my two big planters up here, and it's fabulous. I'm putting in drip instead of the soaker hoses for the whole garden this year. It'll be so much better. So gotta get everything cleaned out and the soaker hoses pulled up so that I can get the drip in and then the mulch. So let's stop chatting. Let's start working. You do the leaf floor, Biddy. I'll get the gloves, okay? Let's go.
All right, got all of the leaves blown out all the way down. And so now I'm going to come through and keep working on cleaning things out. So right in here, you can see I've cleaned out some of these lamb's ear. I still need to come through and do all the rest. So take out all of that dead leaves underneath, all of the the spent things, cut them back if they need cut back. And then I need to go through some of the iris and just pluck out the few um, brown stems. I did go ahead and cut back these flag iris because I had already done that in last week's video and then realized there was a hole like two, three inches under the leaf mulch that I cut above. Some of the foxglove just need a little bit of you know, cutting up the dead sticks from last year and leaving that new, pretty, fresh growth. But for my garden, at the very least, cleaning out all the lambs here is always the biggest job of the spring and the fall. And for some reason, my lambs ear down on this side of the garden in the shade, and it's probably because of the shade, they are just not flourishing near as much as some of the big, pretty, beautiful ones we have down there. So it is what it is. You know, we'll fill in with other things. I've started to plant some foxtail ferns down here. And uh, I'm going to have my brother come help me with this giant leaf pile. I've been, you can see around the corner here. I did a whole video on it. I've been leaf mulching all my extra leaves for my raised beds. But I've done... 10 bags. I don't know how many more I need. So for today, we're going to go ahead, just keep working on lamb's ear. I've got probably about an hour left of sunlight before the mosquitoes join me and I have to go inside. So let's see how far we can get in an hour. Pretty tulips. Hopefully some of these ranunculus will bulk up and bloom soon. The ones down around this crepe myrtle are doing much better. Let's go, Betty Betty. Let's clean out the lambs here. She's such a good helper. You're a good helper. All my uh, batteries that I used to blow out this half of the garden. Craziness. All right, y'all, so we got pretty much this entire um, front of the house garden bed done all the way down to the shade garden. Only thing we haven't cleaned out is a few things um, here at the front of the garden. I don't typically like to walk all the way from the front to the back of the garden unless I have to. Um, so I'll come along with the wheelbarrow, clean those last few things up from the front, and then this side will be done. I will be pulling up all of these exposed soaker hoses and replacing them with drips. So we will do a separate video on that. Um, but right now I'm just trying to 
get everything cleared out, get all the leaves out, get the soaker hoses up and get the new mulch down so that the plants are all protected. We are about 10 days away from our last frost and the 10 day forecast shows no temperatures under 50 or 60 at night. So, you know, everything should be good or I'd wait longer, but mom and I are going on a cruise in uh, about 10 days. So trying to get this done before we leave. I will see y'all tomorrow morning and we will keep going on the other side. Y'all, after 12 million days, the garden is cleaned out for spring and freshly composted. So obviously there's still lots of spring plants that will eventually come out to make for room for summer annuals. But for now, everything's just happy. And you can see there are already quite a few summer plants like my homestead verbena. And my scabiosa or pincushion plants that are already starting to bloom. My wisteria is starting to put on leaves and buds and hopefully we will have an entire tree of pretty wisteria soon. The salvia. It's blooming the this salvia here and these new daisies I just planted. So those did not come back from last year. Those are new annuals. But I mean, look at how much growth my oak leaf hydrangea has put on since just the start of this video. Because if y'all didn't notice, like I still have plenty to clean up. Every time you do a project, I make a mess. But, you know. This uh, cleaning up project took many days. If you couldn't tell by the change of outfits, we are almost ready for our March garden tour. We are just enjoying the last of the tulips. These pretty double blooms and the miscari. I still love these cotton candy pansies. They did so well. The blue and maroon did well as well, but the cotton candy did the best. We've got salvia coming back in here. Just planted these pincushion plants after the last three finally wintered over. They are perennial, so they're supposed to. And roses putting on blooms, a butterfly bush is branching out. We've got Supertunia Vista bubblegum coming back and the ranunculus are finally putting out buds. March garden tour is gonna to be so much fun. But I just love how everything looks fresh for spring. All the, the compost is honestly like the icing on the cake. Now I will probably be doing a second layer of compost to cover the hoses eventually, but since we just put that drip irrigation in, if you wanna watch that video, I will link it down below. 
Didn't want to cover them just yet. I want to make sure at least for a month or so that everything is running perfectly before I cover them. And then I do think this year I'm going to go ahead and go all the way to the house. I don't have gutters. And so I've had drainage issues here, but I think I finally kind of got them under control. The pea gravel and the grass and the railroad ties. So last year had so many, so fewer issues. You can see my one petunia starting to bloom. So I do think when I do the second round of mulch here, I will go straight up to the house. But if we look from this angle, it's just pretty, pretty compost all the way down. Garden is ready for spring. Spring always comes with the end of the winter blues. I am ready. I love getting back out here. Helps chase that winter uh, depression away. So you'll see me out in the garden more and more, the more the weather permits it. But for today, our spring cleanup is officially done. This is the second video. There will be not be a third. This one's probably a little longer. I could have done the mulch in a third video, but I hope y'all liked it. I will see y'all in the next video.